What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to show you a cool Windows tip for those who just upgraded to Windows 7 and that is how to remove your previous Windows installations. Now this is only if you chose a custom installation. You might have this and you might not have this. You'll have a windows.old folder in your C drive. Now this will show you how to remove it. So what you want to do is go to your start button by coming down to the bottom left and clicking on the start button then click on disk cleanup then it will ask you the drive you want to clean up and press OK now it will analyze your C drive and we can just wait for this to do its thing and once it's done analyzing your C drive, it'll bring up a window like this. So what you want to do is, you can choose to clean these up, but for now we're going to focus on, come here and we're going to click on clean up system files. Now you might get a user account control um, message, so just click OK if you do. And it will come back to this window and we'll click OK since we want to analyze the C drive where our previous Windows installation was. Now it's going to scan and we will wait for that to load as well. Hold on. So once it's done analyzing, again you will see a window somewhat like this. So what you want to do is check previous Windows installations, and as you can see, that's taking up 34.7 gigabytes on my hard drive. And um, so what we want to do is just I'm just gonna check all of these to save the maximum amount of disk space. And uh, once that happens, once you click OK, it will permanently delete this and you cannot recover any of the files that were on your previous Windows installation in the Windows.old file. So go ahead and press OK. And we're going to click on Delete Files. And once this is finished, um, your drive will be cleaned up. So thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please rate it up below and um if you're feeling great subscribe please because it sort of helps if you have any questions leave them in a comment below or you can private message me or even email me at my email address in the description below so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video